my happy tribe. Karen Mills Paw here, business and lifestyle coach. You know, today, March 11th, isn't 11 a yummy number? March 11th, 2017. I'm sunbathing in the backyard. I see a beautiful memory on my Facebook feed and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that from five years ago. I do what we all do. We swipe and go, what did I comment? And then they see a couple comments from people. You're like, who's that? You click on their page and you realize, oh, that's a friend of mine that's changed her last name since she's now married and we're not friends anymore. Hmm. Which kind of made my brain start to whirl back to, when did we stop being friends? And I have to admit, as you grow as a public figure, you don't pay attention. You really don't. And it's not that I don't care. It's that I can't afford to care. There's the difference, guys. I can't afford to care who I piss off on a daily basis and drops off and who loves and adores me. That's really where my energy is going anywhere. Who can I help today? Who can I change for the better? Who can I shine for? That's going to make a big difference in their day today. That's my number one focus every day. If I stopped 10 years ago, maybe even 15 years ago, when I started to work in the self-empowerment stage, if I stopped and thought, gosh, I wonder if this is going to offend anyone today, I would never grow. You would not know the care I am today. You wouldn't know me as the public speaker, the published author, the entrepreneur, single mom that lives in Vegas, you know, that broke free from the Midwest and came all the way out here to find herself a decade ago, almost a decade ago now. If I worried about those that I left behind um, in my growth, then I wouldn't be that lighthouse that I always talk about. You know, I wouldn't be that shining person and I wouldn't have that platform to empower others to shine their light as well. So the key is, is when you step out, because a lot of my clients, when they first embrace this new phase of their life as a public figure, because that's what we do as a public figure, you put yourself out there to help others. It's the bravest, baddest thing on the planet. No lie. It's also a very vulnerable space and can be very scary at times too. They go into that fear mode of what will people think of me? What will, what will they say? Guys, I've lost so much on my Facebook feed. It's not even funny. Friends that were I was best friends in high school, kids I grew up next door to that I thought would always stick by me my whole life, uh, people I went to church with back in the Midwest when I was the good little housewife, married Christian girl that lived in the box they live in still today. Those people drop off as well. I'm sure they can't handle the swear words and that's okay. Maybe they can't handle truth and that's okay too. I've done nothing but shine super bright and not everybody can handle that, okay? You're gonna vibrate at a different level as you grow and expand. It's gonna poke some people. You're gonna trigger them. You're gonna make them look inward and go, ew, I don't like this girl. She either posts too much or she's just too bright and shiny. Unfriend, block, or unfollow, whatever happens and that's okay. That's their journey. It has nothing to do with me. It's not even my business as to why they chose not to follow me anymore. I don't even make it my business. Today, I just happened to notice, hey, I wonder what's up with so-and-so. Oh, she's married, changed her name. Um, we're not friends anymore? Shoot, she's the last girl I ever thought would drop off the planet. And that's okay. I wish them well. They don't have to be my friend on Facebook. It's not the end of the world. This isn't high school. But and ultimately, I just want to encourage you. Don't look backward. You've got to grow forward. You can't grow back. you got to grow forward and expand in this beautiful blossom you get to be every day as an empowered warrior goddess, whatever that looks like. And yes, guys, even you get to be gods if you wish. So I just hope and wish and my prayer for all of you is to grow forward, not look backward. It's not about who you offend or who's going to come on the journey with you. It's about embracing your growth and those that vibrate at your frequency will match your frequency and stay with you. Those that can't handle it will drop off. It's just life. It's just physics. It's all good. It's all energy. Big hugs, big love. Grow thicker skin. Stand in your light and always be powerful. Mwah.